the sick. A rusty leg nail. Look at that unibrow coming in strong at day. Nah, day. I said, I ain't gonna wake up good. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna be talking about how I bought the cheapest Cobra motor that I could find on eBay. So let's get into today's video. All right, so before we get into actually talking about um, buying the cheapest Cobra motor that I could find on eBay, we're gonna talk about why I needed one in the first place. And basically I built a four valve, basically I built a four valve swap uh, Mustang that had the 2003 Mercury Marauder motor in it. And my Mercury Marauder itself that I owned before I owned the Mustang actually went underwater and uh, in Hurricane Dorian and before um, pulling the spark plugs to, to make sure that when I crank the motor the water comes out of the spark plug holes um, there was a lot going on around that time personally and um, obviously dealing with a lot of um, stress from the storm and stuff that I just really didn't care about the car anymore and I just turned the key to see if it would even start and just unfortunately, I'd say for me that it did start and it started shooting water out the turbo because at the time it was um, turbocharged, so it started shooting water out the turbo. And little did I know, just from the motor cranking one time, it compressed water and bent one rod from, I mean, about a year ago, long before we even started building this four valve car. So, built the car around a motor that was hurt and you couldn't tell it was hurt because it, it never had any load on it. So you could let it idle by itself and it'll rev and it'll sound all right. Then you put load on it and it's like acting funny and not really responding like what I'm used to with it, how it would run in the Marauder because it ran really well. And um, we pulled the motor um, after going crazy trying to find out what is wrong with this thing and then Tore down the heads, nothing wrong with the cams, nothing wrong with the um, air heads because I had an issue where the cam broke its timing chain before, fixed that, retired the motor, put it back together, and tore the motor down and found the bent rod. So I'll insert that clip right here. <laughs> yeah, so this is the star of the show. Let me put it right next to a good one. So you guys can see why I call it the star of the show. Straight rod, bent rod. Yeah, so it's not slightly bent, it's bent. So I said, you know, I live in Freeport, Grand Bahama, which is the closest um, island, I believe, to Florida, aside from Bimini. Well, just know that I live in the Bahamas and our machine shop said that they could not help me to fix the block, which means I needed to, Shoot, I had to go on back just now and watch a part of my video to remember what the hell I was saying. But um, what I was saying exactly is that the machine shop that we have here in uh, Freeport, Grand Bahama, told me that they couldn't help me reground the crank or help me fix the block at all, which means I would have had to source a complete rotating assembly to make sure that this motor wouldn't knock again, which is a crank, eight rods, eight pistons, and it's just, it was, a, it was gonna run me, if I was going into the block, the motor would have had to have been built. So I say, it's gonna cost me almost 3,200 bucks just to buy a rotating assembly for that motor. So I was like, man, it has to be a cheaper way to get this thing done. And I started searching on eBay for 4.6 dual overhead cam, uh, motors, Marauder motors, uh, aviator motors, uh, any motor exactly, and all of them were in the thousands. You had uh, some motors that um, I had to do modification to just to get them in the car and all type of weird stuff where it wasn't feasible to get it because um, the 5.4 dual overhead cam all aluminum motor that Ford produced, um, I couldn't get it, I could get it and put it in the car, but no intake manifold for a four valve would fit on it. So it's not the same, like if you had a two valve, 
4.6 and you went to a two valve um, 5.4 where they have those adapter plates nobody makes those adapter plates for a four valve 4.6 going to a 5.4 um, four valve so that's my issues which means i would have had to fabricate a intake manifold adapter plate which would have been expensive which would have been hard to do as well on the island so what i opted out of doing is um, I actually wanted, it might sound strange, even though this is a budget build that we're doing here, I actually wanted to spend a good amount of money on this motor, make sure I got something strong, something that'll last, something that'll take it. And then I just totally convinced myself that we're just going away from being budget minded. So I wanted to try one more cheap way of fixing my budget vehicle. And that was um, finding a used 4.6 tool overhead cam motor on eBay which would have had to been shipped to the Bahamas um, from a shipping company that is actually in the States. They send it over here and then I pick it up and pay all my duties and VAT and all that stuff over again. So it would have been pricey to import a $4,000, $3,000, $2,000 motor. But believe it or not, I ended up finding the absolute cheapest 4.6 dual overhead cam, what we call the Cobra motor uh, on eBay, which was $400, believe it or not. But this is the gem why I wanted to tell you guys about it. It's the exact same motor as the 90s Cobras and it didn't come out of a Cobra. It actually came out of a Lincoln Mark 8. And the person that sold it to me on eBay, I was like, man, this motor is too cheap. They posted it for 500 bucks. I offered them 400 bucks and they accepted it. They also gave me like a six month uh, warranty on the motor. They told me that the motor was running and driving and had no issues. The motor is a 200,000 mile motor, literally 202,000 miles. And I was like, man, this might be a waste of my time just to get this because I want to beat on it. I want to do certain things, but I was like, you know, my motor that came out of my Marauder was 174,000 miles. So I really wasn't far off from 200,000. And that motor ran like a beast before that um, car ran underwater or went underwater. And that's basically just me trying to say, let me try one more budget means of getting this thing done. Now, I can't really tell you what I'm going to do if this motor doesn't pan out or if it has ma massive mechanical issues or fails within the first week because that's a surprise, you guys gotta stay tuned, but I have a massive idea in my head of what I would do with this vehicle if this motor is bad again, because I'll go completely away from the um, 4.6 tool of head cam and do something really crazy that I'm pretty sure you guys would like. But um, this is gonna be my last time trying to fix this thing by buying a motor. And I said to myself, if I'm gonna import a motor from the States and pay all those fees to get down here, I'm not gonna be buying a, a two valve motor. I couldn't find a very good two valve motor down here. They were using a junkyard or weren't starting or some something where I have to work on them. Uh, this guy pulled the motor. It's a, it, I bought this from a junkyard in the States that sells motors. Um, I try to remember how they explain it. It's a reputable like organization that um, communicates with other junkyards and they all work together by selling motors on eBay and selling parts on eBay. So it was a 93 Lincoln Mark 8, 202,000 miles. And they said the thing was running. It wasn't hesitating, wasn't anything like that. They just got the car from an auction or something like that and started stripping it down because they buy cars, they strip them down, they sell the parts. That's, that's basically what they do. So they sent me the motor out really quick. I think it was two days after I paid that the motor started shipping. The motor's already been shipped to the courier in the States that's receiving it for me and sending it to the Bahamas. And it should be just another week before I receive the motor in hand. So I wanted to update you guys on what was going on with the um, four valve swap. So we're gonna be putting in the same motor. All I have to do is change the exhaust manifolds, the intake manifold, and that's it. Oh yeah, fuel rail, all that stuff. But I already have that stuff for my O3 Marauder. I'm gonna be also changing the cam and crank sensor from the Marauder, just so that the computer isn't freaked out by any difference between the the airs and all that stuff. So any sensors that's on this motor, I'm gonna be putting my Marauder sensors on it so that the computer still reads it and run fine. And from there, 
we're gonna see what we got for basically 400 bucks on eBay, which is literally, even if you look it up now, the cheapest. I found a 4.6 tool overhead cam Cobra motor for. And like I stated in, um, I think a few videos back, only difference with the Cobra motor and all of the other 4.6 all aluminum tool overhead cam motors is the intake cam. So the intake cam doesn't even really add much to it. It's just that the Cobra motors would rev to 7,000 and the Marauder motor would rev to like 63. And I'm pretty sure I could just raise the rev limit and have it retuned and it'll do the exact same thing as I've seen guys do it on YouTube. But um, yeah, that is going to be how we're gonna attempt to fix the four valve swap. So bought the cheapest motor that I could possibly find. I'm gonna bring it in. We're gonna put it on an engine stand. We're gonna flip it over, take the oil pan off, intake off. Um, we're not gonna paint anything, not gonna clean up anything. I wanna slap everything together, rest it in the vehicle, crank it, run it, drive it, feed on it, see what it does. I mean, it might not even start its first time. Who knows what's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna document everything, and you guys are gonna get it just as raw as I get it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. If I wasted my money, you guys will know so that you don't end up doing the exact same thing I did. So, um, yeah, so now we just wait. We're waiting on the Cobra motor to be delivered to me, and then we're gonna start uh, dressing it with all of the Marauder um, headers, intake, all the fuel rail, stuff like that, dressing it up, putting it back in the vehicle, and just seeing what it does. So, that's where we are with the four valve build. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.